know if that old boat was up there, but it's Spanish. Another end of the left boat. He said he was a Today, I'm getting ready to immerse myself deep inside the waters of Silver Springs. I earnestly hope my explorations and maps help people gradually understand the value of upland recharge areas where rainfall seeps through the earth and soft limestone. My point is to graphically alert others to the extensive underground journeys in which this water can flow for miles before it emerges as a spring. As it does, it may travel under septic tanks, fertilized land, and many, many wells. A cool part of the springs is they're kind of like a time capsule. Like right behind me here at Silver Springs, underneath the water, underneath the silt, underneath the algae, is a vast array of artifacts from the whole history of Florida, from 40 million years ago to today. All the things that went in the water and were created in the geology. This is a mastodon tooth. And all of the remains of everything that happened 10,000 years ago is right here in the bottom of this spring. Another part of Silver Springs is the tourists and people who come here and they walk out and they look at this river. They think this is the beginning of the river. Actually, this is just where the river comes out of the ground. So as explorers into the aquifer, we go to try and put our nose in the flow and follow that water and see where these big aquifers are going. Although we are just learning about the precise science of our springs, anthropologist Dr. Daniel Britton first visited Silver Springs in 1856 and came away in awe of what he described as perfectly diaphanous liquid flowing from the earth. He regarded it as one of the great natural features of the North American continent, like Niagara Falls or the Grand Canyon. While Dr. Britton really nailed it on that one, the complexities of silver are simply not visible to the average above ground tourist. As a result, it's more difficult for most people to fully appreciate the hidden geology of Silver Springs. In a way, we can think of Silver Springs as like the Grand Canyon, but with a lid. Undoubtedly, all of our springs fit that definition.